How's it going, people? Jeff here from Ecom Geeks. Today we receive a request to review the website Speed Dive Pro. So this is actually a one product store. They are selling this uh, underwater, they, they call it an electric underwater propulsion system, um, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, it looks like it's a really cool thing. Um, that being said, let's get down and, and break down the website here. When I first looked at your website, it wasn't obvious as to what you were selling. You know, you have your, your hero banner, which by the way, looks amazing. Um, you know, it, it says, you know, your underwater adventure starts here. I see a guy in a, you know, diving outfit and looks like he's using this tool, but it's not obvious that this is what you're selling. It kind of seems more of a general, you know, diving store. Um, it, it, it doesn't seem obvious that this is the product that you're selling. Um, you know, and then if you take a look at this, first, another side note for the product image, I mean, use uh, use the, the same sort of uh, uh, PNG image that you have, you know, throughout here where there is no white background. Um, that, that'll just help make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, I don't think there's anywhere else on your website where I, I see a white background. So definitely change this to, to the PNG version. Uh, looking here, uh, there's there's a lot of really inter interesting information. Uh, what I would recommend is adding in the app called Tabs by Station. Uh, this allows you to have different tabs at the top here. So you might want to have you know this as you know description, and then a separate tab for features, and then another tab for specifications. That'll help tighten up the information and allow people go to go quickly between the different things that they might be interested in checking out. Uh, scrolling down here. Uh, there are a lot of great images and you know what, like normally, normally I'm not a fan of this sort of thing, but considering it's a one product store and people will probably want to check it out, I think it's actually a good thing. And I really like how you've done it so that you can click on an image and scroll through the different pictures. I, I find that very convenient, which is, which is great. Uh, so, so kudos on that. Going back to the home page, there's one thing that I've noticed, and that is that your hamburger button, this little guy here, is really difficult to see. I actually didn't see it until I scrolled down the page and then started scrolling up. And when I started scrolling up in the middle of your page, you actually have it so that it's it's white, uh, which is great, so it stands out a little bit more. But then you have it going back to the blue when it's up here. Um, I really like your logo in blue, and that's very obvious there. But in terms of like the, the hamburger menu, as well as the shopping cart, I would say keep these white even when it's at the top there. Uh, you should be able to change that over. Otherwise, it's just it's very difficult to see. And I actually I really like your hamburger uh, menu here. It's really good at laying out all the important information. The last big thing I have is that your home page is very very long, and it doesn't provide you much about the product. Like what you what you really want to do is you know tell them what you're selling right away, and then get directly into you know the product specifications, uh, you know what it can do. So what I've done is I've actually made a a modified version. I've edited the code just of this this one web page just to give you a an idea of what I think could be improved upon. So we have you know the original here, and and this guy here. So. Uh, I didn't change the color of these, but here, you know, introducing the Mark One, your underwater propulsion solution. I mean, do whatever you want with that, you know, that word, that wordage or, or whatnot, but make sure that, bam, okay, this is what I'm selling, this is what I'm buying. Next, I've removed a lot of the extra stuff that you have on your homepage. So here, you know, we've got an image, we can check out the different options. Next, it goes directly to 10% off, couple images, and then you can buy it at the end. You, you see how much shorter that is versus, you know, your original web page where, you know, there's a lot of a lot of scrolling. And then when we get to this part, you're forced to scroll even more. And I mean, like these different parts here, you know, durable, superior grip, all that is already outlined here and it's much less scrolling to do so. Um, it just tightens things up and it makes it less of a hassle. Like I said, the only thing that, that I would change on the website that I've altered, the homepage that I've altered, is that I would actually have, you know, the product details probably in here in terms of, you know, this sort of information with the ability to actually purchase it, um, you know, when it's not at the bottom of the page. Because to go to the bottom of the page, that's where you actually buy it. I think that's awful. I think you should have it much closer to the top. 
So there we go. There's a review for uh, the Speed Dive Pro. I hope that helps, and I'll catch you guys next time. Looking to improve your store? Hire a geek. We offer individual store optimizations, one-on-one -on -one training, as well as workshops. Check out the description below for more information.